Alright everybody, so I'm going to do a quick eyeshadow look. It's not going to be a very bold look. I'm a little bit more bold than I did yesterday. It's just because I'm going to work and I really don't want it to be too crazy. I'm just going to be like a light big pink and yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start. Most of my colors are coming from the LA Colors and Dreamy and it's just a bunch of really pretty light pink shades. I really like it. I've got a lot of compliments on it. I really wasn't expecting it to be great. I got this as a dollar store for a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this like really light baby pink. Like really light. Tap it. Just scoop it all over the lid and up a little bit. Just kind of as a base for everything I'm going to put on top. You can kind of see it. I know this light is really bright, and I'm trying to figure out a way to make it less bright, but if I put the shade and stuff on it and all this crap, it's too bright, or it's not bright enough, whatever. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take it's kind of a plum color. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush. This is, this is just the Studio, or it's the Eye Professional eyeshadow brush. And it's a really cute design I got it at Target. You can see it at my local Target, but I found it at Target a little bit farther away. I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and kind of up into my crease and just above right here. Darkens it up just a little. Alright. I put that on my crease and stuff. Okay. So next, I'm going to go ahead and take wherever it is. <laughs> A little elf shader brush, or shader, blending brush. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. I'm going to blend it out and up just a little bit. Okay. All right. And next, I'm going to take. really unorganized this morning. I am sorry. Well, I can't find my shader crease brush, so I'm just going to go ahead and use or my, my blending crease brush. This is just a little, it's like a, I don't know the brand. I'd have to go find the box where it came in. It's really good brushes at Walmart that I got. Eye blending brush is just a little one. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this it's just a little mini hard candy. It doesn't have a shade, but it's just a really pretty metal silver. I'm going to swirl that on the brush. I actually haven't used this silver before, so it's like a first impression. I really like the white that came in this. It's just a holiday palette, or holiday box set. I'm just going to take it and put it in the crease. So about the outer three fourths and on the outer corner here. I really wish I had my other one. Just kind of flare it out just a little bit. Again, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Don't worry about being too messy because I'm just gonna fan it out anyway. Okay. And take that shading kind of blending brush and just blend it a little bit here. 
just so it kind of melts into that pinky plum shade. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I'm trying to talk louder. I kind of hear my daughter in the other room with my little sister right now. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. Alright, next go ahead and take a highlight shade. This is another little hot that little other hard candy and it's just a highlighter, a white highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and take this elf angled. This is the professional defining eye brush. Just a little angle to it. I'm gonna put it in that. Put it right up underneath the outer half, I'd say, of my eyebrows just to kind of give that highlighted effect here. Then I'm going to take my blending color that I've been using a whole lot. It's the Pure Blend, Omni Pure Blends in Petal. It just looks like that. It's like my skin tone, really pale with a little hint of a pink. I'm just going to take it and sweep it and blend this out really well. I'm going to blend in that highlight so it's not just a line on your face. Okay. Next, I'm going to take this Dream Loose Cream or Mousse Shadow in Pink Halo. It just looks like this. It's really light. I'm just going to use my finger because I found that's the best way to apply this. You gotta be careful because it can't get chunky and I'm just gonna pop it right here. And we're gonna I'm just gonna add a little bit of a shine and a sparkle and kind of sweep it out a little bit. Because I don't want that that gray to show a whole lot, just a little bit of darkness. it up a little bit too. Just kind of sweeping it. You kind of see the glitters in there. Okay. Now that I've done this bitch, I'm going to go ahead and add another frosty shimmer. It's just like, ooh, I'm putting a lot of shadows on my face. NYC, it's the Smooth Mineral Loose Powder. You can't even see it. And this is in Frosty Shimmer, and I love this to add sparkles to any of my shadows. And it's just a really light, almost just a sparkle. I'm going to take this with this fluffy, blendy brush. I'm just going to take a little bit, just to kind of set that cream. And just put it right up in here. And just kind of add a little bit of lightness to this look, because I don't want it to be too dark for work. A little sparkly for work, but that's okay. I decided I wanted to be sparkly today. Okay. I better hurry up. So next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Ice Studio 16, or yeah, 16 Hour and Sapphire. It's a gel liner. And then I'm just going to take my lining brush. Sweep it right in there on the inner lash line. And this looks, works really well. I'm going to do a review on it. I've been using it every single day since I got it. So. Okay. And then I'm going to add my mascara. I've been trying to use this to get a really good feel of it. It's the Hard Candy Ginormous Lash. i just put this on my eyelashes. One at a time. Hope you guys really like this eye look. And I'm going to do how I apply cream blush in my next video. So if you guys want, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. Put a little bit right there. See you guys later. Add a little bit. I still have time. See you guys later.